Землю, на которой живу, The land I live on, I perceive it as if it were the kingdom of Mordor. It feels as if I am being entangled by a moldy cobweb. Every time I come back from other regions, I experience a month-long painstaking acclimatization. This doesn't happen when I stay in other places, but I'm not able to leave, as if the land is holding me here. How can I detach it from me? Well, maybe you should detach yourself first. Why is it holding you? Ask yourself. Are these social hooks or are you simply being drawn to it? You have no social business there, but for some reason you are drawn to it. If there are any hooks of social nature, then get rid of them. And then check if you no longer feel anything. Because there are times when the egregorial social system masks itself as a form of nostalgia, while in reality it's nothing more but a social game. My friends, family, real estate, property, work, how could I leave it behind? Meaning all of those types of excuses. Take a piece of paper and write down all the reasons that hold you on this land. All of them. You won't be able to remember everything at once, therefore it will take you some time to make this list. And while holding this list in your hand, try to get rid of it. I mean, try to get rid of these hooks, gradually crossing out each of the reasons. If you see that this didn't solve the issue, or perhaps just did it partially, then talk to the master of the land, the master of the place, so that he could explain to you what is your actual debt in the first place. Because if it is the spirit of the place that is holding you, then there is a particular reason for that. There is something you must do, something you must return, get even, etc. Sometimes it happens that the graves of the ancestors hold on to us very tightly, because they don't know who else will be taking care of them. This happens very often within the Christian tradition. The cult of graves and the cult of cemeteries sometimes can really get out of hand, especially in the Catholic environment. Quite a bit. In other words, figure out all the reasons and get rid of them, one by one. Until you dissect this whole problem into pieces, you will not be able to get rid of it. It is unlikely that by finding one of the causes you will directly hit the bullseye. There could be two main reasons for the fact that this land is sucking blood out of you. Either those are the egregors or the earth itself. And one should not exclude the other. This is why you should approach this issue this way, in a systematic way. Try to find a reason like a grown-up. Once you find it, you will solve the problem.